Johanna had to so take her little girl to school today. Yes. So our kids are all back in school again. So um, today I'm going to, um, not me, but Donna is going <laughs> to show you um, heat embossing. Heat embossing is a technique that I, I love the look of it. Mm -hmm. um, I do some stamping, not a lot, but I've never done much heat embossing. So I thought it might be really cool to have someone show you how to do stamping and heat embossing. So, mm -hmm. And there's a doing. lot you can do with it that people don't realize. Yeah. So it's not just stamp and heat. I mean, mm -hmm. There's a lot you can do. So you're going to show us a, the basic heat embossing mm -hmm. and then... A, I'll show you a couple of other tips too. Okay, let's get started. So this is just a, a slight notch up above the very, very beginning of heat embossing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a one image stamp and I'm going to do three different colors on this one stamp. Okay, okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come to just the edge of the top. This is a little flower. So I'm just going to put that ink only on the top. And I will press that down. And this so far is just the basic embossing. Nothing fancy here yet. And this isn't all wasted. If you've never done heat embossing before, you think, oh, that's such a waste. No. You just take it and shake it back into the little container. Like so. Very simple. Okay. Now, I want these leaves to be a different color. So we're going to brush away any of that powder that's on the leaves. So, I'm going to use the Martha Stewart heat gun. This is what Leah has, and it's a fabulous pale green color. This is one of my favorite <laughs> colors right now. But this is um, by EK Success, and it's pretty powerful. you got to let it heat up a little bit okay. because you don't want just the air blowing all of the powder away. So, let okay. it get hot, and it gets hot pretty quick. Don't stick your hand right in front of right. it. Right. It's different than a, a, a hair blow. Oh, do not, yeah. You don't want to use a hair dryer because a hair dryer will just blow everything off and it won't get hot enough. Did you see that difference? When it changed, it melted. So it changed the look of it from just that little powder and it melted the embossing into, so it looks like a, a metal. It's kind of like a liquid metal. Okay, so now we're going to stamp the leaves. Okay, we we'll back up. So we will, again, ink. Now, we're going to go over the top of that flower because it's just there. But we don't want to stamp over that again because then the powder will stick up here. So super simple technique. Okay. Grab some tape. Okay. And you're going to just tape right over the block. Okay. And cover what you've inked. Got it. Super simple. Then you've got to just line it up with the flower. Normally I'm a standing scrapper. I am too. <laughs> I definitely stand when I scrapbook. And now we're going to use the green powder. Okay. Oh, and this embossing stuff is also Martha Stewart. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, these colors are nice. Okay, so you're just covering it and you're tapping it up just like you glitter anything else, right? Mm -hmm. Now, again, I've got some of that bottle in there, mm -hmm. so I'm going to just wipe that away. So I love that idea of leaves. using the brush for that. It's like, oh, why didn't I think of that? If you, if you try and do it with your finger, the oil is just going to smear. Yeah. Okay. Did you see it change? It did. Okay. All right. And now yeah. we're going to do the same thing. Neat. Okay. Then just move that tape down. Okay. So you just stamp the bot the bottle. The bottle only, but there's okay. still going to be residual um, embossing ink on the on the leaves. Okay. And that's why you taped over. That's it. why I taped over the leaves, right? Because it doesn't take very much. It doesn't have to be super goopy for it to... Goopy? Go goopy, goopy. <laughs> that would be the technical term. Okay. 
And I personally um, like things to be slightly imperfect. You do? I do. <laughs> I think I do. I know that surprises you. <laughs> so it's okay if it's not 100% clean. But it is kind of expected from heat embossing to have a little bit of the strays. Mm -hmm. At least, see, now me, I couldn't do that on purpose if I tried. But mm. I love that it's got these little bits yeah. around. And if you really want a clean image, you could always just cut right around that. Okay, this is a way to take it up a notch. Okay. And you can take it up even farther than that okay. by using your ink pad just like you would use a distress, here, we'll do it on this one actually. Okay. Just like you would use a distress ink. Okay, you would just kind of rub it around the edges. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. If you want this look, I'll only do those three sides. Okay. And then you just and then this is here so that it'll catch it. Okay, and if I think, oh, there's way too much here, oh, well look, I could fix that. Just take that off. Okay. Doesn't have to be so much. I like the way that looks. Isn't that fun? It's not the typical way that people use embossing powder. Yeah. But I I really do love embossing. It's one of my favorites. Because you get such a dramatic look. And it's not expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah, that little tube will last quite a while. It really will. Man, it's like metallic. Isn't it's that like, neat? Like someone, I don't know. Or someone brush painted it with some sort of mm -hmm. metal or something. <gasps> Very pretty. I've always liked that look. And then something else you can do. This is something that's way, way off the charts. <laughs> this is not... You? You <laughs> off the charts? <laughs> this is not your typical use of a heat embossing tool. Okay. But this is something kind of fun. Okay, I'll come back down. That um, you could do. This is just painted cardboard. Surprise, surprise. Okay. This is a Prima... Um, clear transparency okay. and I've just stapled it on. Okay. It's open at the top. I'm taking some of these. These are really old but they're just so adorable. They're, they're just little petals, individual petals. Yeah. And I'm going to drop them inside and make a little pocket out of it. And if you don't have the petals, just use little you tiny just flowers. Little flowers, whatever you want to do. Okay. And then because these things get really hot. Okay. So this is not heat embossing. This is just making use this of is that gun. with the gun. Yeah. And it just gives it a fun little curve, almost like a yeah. ruffle. Yeah. And you can put anything you want. You can even put a picture inside of the pocket. And that's pretty much it. You can do it as much or as little as you want. And what would you, you could tuck like a tuck like a little letter? Yeah, you can tuck put a like little, a little note inside. A little love note. This inside. could be like a the cover of a book, and you can have like little oh, love the title notes sticking inside. up. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah, isn't that sweet? Well, thanks for watching. Thanks. Hopefully, you got some fun new tips that you can try with your heat embossing gun and some embossing powders. Mm hmm And I will um, give it a try for sure. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oops, it's kind of it's kind of low. Yes. <laughs> I got I have to move the camera up. Hang on. <laughs> ah. okay. Oh, airplane, 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 airplane flying over. Do 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 do. This is um. Really flying a long time. He must be circling the house. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks. Hopefully, you got some fun new tips that you can try with your heat embossing gun and some embossing powders. Mm hmm. And I will um, give it a try for sure. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. You know what I noticed when we were talking in our videos? Hmm. How much I talk with my hands? Have you noticed that? We all do. We're like, I'm like, I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs>
to be side leg or something? I, okay, and sometimes I do really weird <laughs> hand movements where it's like, what does, what does that mean? Oh my god.